What's good, y'all? It's Boy Ross back at again with another video. So, I'm going to check out 10 best WWE matches ever, according to the internet. This should be an interesting one. This should be a very interesting one to see what the general consensus of some of the greatest matches ever of all time, uh, according to the wrestling community on the internet. So, we're going to check this out. Appreciate all the love and support you guys showing on the channel. This is on What Culture Wrestling. See what they talking about, man. What is the greatest match in WWE history? Objectively, there's no real answer. Everybody has different tastes and different mm -hmm. ideas of what makes a match great. To you, The Fiend versus Goldberg might be an abomination. But Facts. to me, it should be held with the same level of reverence as the Shawshank Redemption. The closest thing we have to true consensus on the matter is cagematch.net. The ultra-detailed wrestling database offers all kinds of facts and stats on almost every mm. match ever while also encouraging users to rate what they've watched. It's the closest thing we have to a democratic opinion, kind of like the wrestling version of IMDB, even if things mm. are definitely a little bit skewed. In effort to find the true greatest matches in WWE history, we trawled the archives. The results of this great collaborative process are interesting. Let's say that. Cage match users might be online, but are they on the money? I'm Andy All from right, What Culture. See. We're here to find out. Here are the 10 best WWE matches ever according to the internet number 10 chris benoit versus Shawn michaels versus triple h from mm. wrestlemania 20 at 9.58 out of 10 that now, was i'm not a gonna throw match. roses at this match for obvious reasons yeah. the brutal and devastating reality of it all completely overshadows the physicality of this highly rated wrestlemania 20 that was a good event match. this is the only time benoit or triple h actually feature on this list we'll talk about Shawn michaels a little bit later on but hunter's omission in particular might come as a surprise given his reputation today, particularly amongst younger fans. Is this the best WWE match that Triple H has ever participated in? Internet, I think we disagree. Number yeah, nine, about that. Tyler Bate versus Walter. NXT Ooh. UK TakeOver Cardiff, 9.58 out of 10. Here we have the third WWE match ever to break Dave Meltzer's five-star scale, following on from Adam Cole and Johnny Gargano's two bangers earlier in 2019. Neither of those, however, are actually on the list. Mm. Walter versus Bate here is is perhaps one of the glossiest no BS matches in WWE history. Facts. As Walter and Tyler Bates knocked the piss out of each other, Facts. the UK <laughs> Championship had never felt more important. So it's kind of appropriate that around Gunther's waist here in 2023, the Intercontinental title is currently riding a 25 year high. The guy. Nah, bro, they got the right person. I, I know I was one of those people. I wasn't really big on the name change. I thought they were gonna, I thought Vince was gonna ruin them. But ultimately, before Vince left, he put the Intercontinental Championship on him after the dude lost a lot of weight. He, you know, Vince wanted him to lose weight. He lost a lot of weight. He bought into the name change. The dude, he has made the Intercontinental Championship prestigious once again. And he probably will. And he should bring the, the, the longest reigning Intercontinental Champion. He should be, he should have that, that title. That 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 accolade because the dude is fantastic. I makes titles great. Number eight, the Dudley Boys versus Edge and Christian ah, versus yes. the Hardy Boys ah, from yes. WrestleMania X Seven. Definitely deserve to be on the list. Nine out of ten. Now you're talking my life. Yes, the greatest <laughs> spot fest of all time on yes. the greatest WWE show of all time? Question mark. I rate it highly, and so oh, does this the match internet. Was so great, bro. Rightly so, because TLC two was the stipulations peak, and the combatants deserve credit. Not Facts. only for assembling something. This was a spot fest, but it was a spot fest that you will always and forever remember and damn near molded the future of tag team wrestling. <laughs> it's just, oh, this was so good. And I was so happy it happened in Houston. One of the greatest spots of all time. Fucking Edge spearing, I believe it was Jeff Hardy, while he was hanging on to the championships all the way down to the ring below. 
something as special as they did, but for doing so under the sort of pressure that would have ground others into dust. One of the greatest and most over-the-top yep. chaos matches in WWE history, yep. Hardys, Dudleys, and Edge and Christian artfully escalated the danger with such lightness of touch that almost nothing felt constructive, despite Great. the level of care needed to assemble every terrifying scene. Number seven, The Revival versus DIY, Ooh. NXT TakeOver Toronto 9.60 out of 10. This was a, a good highly rated one, NXT bro. classic, but not the highest rated NXT oh match on the list. God, this that is, was however, a good match. highest rated tag team match on the list. It is one of the crown jewels of NXT black and gold and an absolute triumph on every single level, expertly crafted by DIY and The Revival, whose dizzying complex exchanges married perfectly with the classic timeless tropes, genuine innovation, so and a good. crowd frothing at the gills to get the finale they crave. So this good. came at the time NXT was pivoting away from being the little brand that could to an established super Facts. indie under WWE's umbrella. It was a pivotal step in doing so. And there's a reason FTR still repeat uh, that hand-holding submission spot to this date. Bro, that, just, that, that was so, oh, that was so good, bro. It's one of the greatest images in modern WWE history. Oh, Number so six, good. Ilya Dragunov versus Walter. <laughs> NXT TakeOver 36, 9.6. <laughs> Six four. Y'all see how the NXT matches are on this list. This is when Triple H was head of creative in NXT. I'm just gonna put that there. I'm just gonna leave that there. <laughs> Out of ten. A phenomenal WXW rivalry spilled over into WWE. Walter versus Dragunov was as compelling on big American stages as it was on smaller German stages. Mm -hmm. Building on the stories told elsewhere to craft something beautiful that didn't compromise on brutality at all, despite the shiny new setting. Walter this was had good been too. UK champion for 870 days at the time. He this was, was established so as WWE's biggest big bad. Dragunov knew it more than most, and after waiting 10 months for a second shot at the belt, he put his body through this hell. So with the good. Most cathartic victory imaginable. After 22 absorbing minutes, his emotional breakdown was as arresting as his physical breakdown. When your back is as messed up as your chest and yeah. you're facing Walter and his chops, you know you've had a hard shift. Fact. Number five, Shawn Michaels versus The Undertaker, WrestleMania. That's all, that, that's all I cared about. As long as this match was on the list, that's all I cared about. And once again, it happened in Houston. WrestleMania 25. Best match of the night. One of the best matches of all time. Simple as that. Simple as... There's... there's Simple as that. Goosebump inducing. A 25. 9.64 out of 10. This one is probably going to raise the most eyebrows on this list. A lot of WWE fans, at the very least, would have this slotted in at, I don't know, the top three, maybe? The yeah. cage matching mates do not. And to be fair, there are only marginal gaps between Michaels versus Undertaker and the matches above it. Nonetheless, this is the WrestleMania match oh when it comes to God. Shawn Michaels' brand of drama. Oh. It was a big, bombastic, big theater popcorn match of the highest order. The so the equivalent of a gigronkus Hollywood blockbuster, this is the highest rated match that either man has on the list. So Number good. four, CM Punk versus John Cena. I gotta give another clamp. This is, this is, this. Uh, CM Punk, John, John Cena, Money in the Bank 2011, right around the time I came back to wrestling. And boy, was it a great time to come back. I am so glad CM Punk dropped that pipe bomb that brought me back to wrestling. Because when I saw this, this is when I was like, oh, I'm back now. I'm, oh my God, this is great. You know, Money in the Bank 2011, so 9.64. Out of 10. So Unquestionably good. Unquestionably a match elevated by circumstances and maybe the hottest wrestling crowd ever, Punk Facts. versus Cena still hits like a quadruple shot of caffeine right to the veins. Chicago was ablaze for their hometown boy, CM Punk, as he marched into war against the physical embodiment of the WWE machine he so angrily raged against. Mm -hmm. And yes, the wheels did come off the summer of Punk eventually. Oh, Shout out to Kevin Nash texting yeah. himself. But on a night when the wrestling world genuinely thought that CM Punk was going to walk out of WWE as a free agent world champion felt like the biggest thing in the universe. Number they, they definitely dropped the ball with that only because he, they they should have they they really should have bought into that, bro. They should have really let him go to different companies. Not legitimately, obviously have him under contract, but they could have really broke some like some like ground here. Like, oh, he's he's over here defending it here. Granted, WWE only wanted to keep everything in house. 
They definitely could have did that. And that's my food, y'all. Yes, I ordered me some food. <laughs> Comment down below. Let me know what food y'all think I ordered, man. But I, I really think they should have really played that up a little bit more. And then he come back. Oh, that would have been great. Free Bret Hart versus Steve Austin. WrestleMania Another good one. 13, 9.65. Another classic out of 10. If you're a seasoned one. wrestling fan and are old as hell, like me, you might make the case that this is objectively the best match in WWE history. Now, I don't necessarily think that the objective best in a subjective art form actually exists, but either way, the famous double turn match should the be hung turn, in an art yep. gallery alongside other pieces of phenomenal craftsmanship like the Mona Lisa and Chocolate now, Starfish is, this and is, the Hot Dog flavored water. Legendary. There aren't enough bona fide classics that just speak loudly enough for themselves in this era of extreme he didn't content. Tap. He passed Look, out, this, bro. thankfully, is one of them. It's a masterpiece. Yep. Number two, Ilya Dragunov versus Walter, NXT UK. 9.66 out of 10. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. The absolute peak of the empty arena era is right mm -hmm. here as Walter and Ilya Dragunov lit up each other and an empty BT Sports Studio yep. in an incredible flesh-peeling battle, the yeah, likes they... of which we may Ooh. never see again, thanks to the environment. Okay, look, wrestling without fans was mostly pish. It sucked the life out of our great sport. Mm -hmm. But here, Walter and Ilya actually used that to their advantage. Devoid of noise from fans and gathered masses, the building was instead filled with the disgusting sounds of flesh hitting flesh. No, they were beating the crap out of each other. Like legitimately beating the living crap out of each other. Bodies being dropped all over the place and the grunts, screams, and roars of all out war. It's a rare example of the empty arena setting kind of working in the match's favor. And the match, I mean, yeah, it, it's obviously great. And mm -hmm. number one, the internet voted greatest wow. WWE match ever. Andrade Almas versus Johnny Gargano. Wow. NXT TakeOver Philadelphia, 9.66 out of 10. One, Here we are then, the greatest WWE match of all time, according to the internet, and perhaps the start of the era of NXT main events chasing insane levels of critical acclaim. This yeah. is an entry that will absolutely leave some people maybe a little bit confused, maybe a little bit pissed off. And to no, be honest, was... while I absolutely adore this match myself, yeah. I'm not sure I agree that it's the greatest Greatest match in WWE Facts. history, but the internet, or at least cage match, has spoken. Gargano Facts. versus Andrade, to be fair, is an absolute ripper, well worth five of anyone's stars, pitting a sympathetic never say die babyface against a hard hitting bastard of a boy who had mm -hmm. finally found his feet after a pretty awkward start to life in WWE. Gargano gained more here in defeat than he ever could have in victory. Mm -hmm. It was painfully clear how his rivalry with Tommaso Ciampa needed mm -hmm. to be settled before he stood another chance yep, competing so for good. NXT's biggest so prize. Good. Anyway, guys, that's what the internet... Hey, I'm, I'm going to have to disagree. In my opinion, personally, I probably would have put that WrestleMania match, that WrestleMania 25 match, it probably would have been one and two. And the John Cena versus CM Punk, probably, uh, you could have kind of traded those between one and two. In my personal opinion, as one, one of the greatest matches of all time. You could have. You could have. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I wouldn't have put Johnny there. Johnny versus um, Andrade. That was a fantastic match, though. Don't get it twisted. Really, 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 really good match. I wouldn't have put it there, in my personal opinion, uh, as number one. But uh, on this particular website, they voted that. So, hey, man. Very interesting choice, but understandable. Some people, you know, that's their opinion on it. So comment down below. Let me know what match do you feel like is the greatest match of all time in WWE? Put your top 10 matches. I want to see your top 10 matches. And honestly, I may make a video. I'm being dead serious. Y'all may be featured in a video. I want to see y'all top 10 matches in WWE history of all time your top 10 it doesn't have to be anybody else's what matches you feel like are the top 10 matches in in your personal opinion put them down below there's no wrong or right answer here i think i'm gonna make a video i'm gonna go through you guys comments and read y'all list and you know we have that discussion and compare y'all lists to everyone else's i think that would be pretty cool when i have that interaction with you guys so if you want to be featured in my next video all you got to do is make the list Make the list down below in the comment section, and there's a good chance you will be featured in my next video. So, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing y'all top 10 list of 
best matches in WWE history. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys shown on the channel. Road to 150k now. I'm still in the speed of YouTube Wrestling Champion of the World. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.